Hello everyone, it's me Abdul Basit from Kerala. Welcome to my CBSE Arabic class of 9th standard. As you all know, we have discussed the first chapter and it's a translation of Qariyun Hindiyun, uh, the Indian genius. It was a chapter about the great personality, APJ Abdul Kalam. And now we are looking to the exercises of this chapter. So, the first one, Tamarin, the exercises. Kana waladi rajulan taqiyya Sirtu awwala man tara ila afaqi sama Kana al-mataru shadida Sara al-jawu mu'attadila So, these are some examples that's used kana is used here so like uh, yeah we can nadkhulu kana ala al-jumal al-atiya wa naktubuha fi al-khanati ma'a at-taghayyurat al-lazima so what we are going to do is uh, we can enter kana in the coming sentences الجمل الآتية coming sentences ونكتبها في الخانة مع التغيرات اللازمة and let's uh, write it uh, with the essential meanings so as you all know كان is something uh, it's a it's it's known as فعل ناقص فعل ناقص means uh, it will come after كان a subject and a predicate so subject will be given nominative case which means rough eh? and the predicate will be given accusative case which means nasb so here look kana al mataru shadida just this example kana is fi'lu naqis here al mataru is the subject shadidan is the uh, predicate okay mataru isma ismu kana shadidan khabaru kana here al matar ismu kana has been given nominative case that means raf'a and shadidan uh, khabaru kana uh, has been given accusative case uh, which means nasb so let's enter kana to these sentences Okay, so an example is given here. Al qitu naimun. So we have to make it as kana al qitu naimun. So the same work we have to do here. Al jarida tu mufida tu. But there is a difference here. Here, jarida and mufida are female because there is hata. So we have to make Kana into kanats because kanats kana is used for male kanats is used for female so we have to say kanatil jaridatu mufidatan jaridatu nominative case mufidatan accusative case then the next one ashariru muzdahimun here we can make it as كان الشارع مزدحما كان الشارع مزدحما and البنت مجتهدة will be كانت البنت مجتهدة here also بنت is female so we have to bring uh, female كان that's كانت كانت البنت مجتهدة بنت is girl الجب باردا will be كان الجب Javu Baridan. Kanal Javu Baridan. Okay. And here uh, another usage. La Buddhamin. La Buddhamin. Ha, that means it's necessary. It's mm, necessary. Okay. La Buddhamin Tarki Kariyati Al Mahbubati Litahkiya Halami. When we read the chapter, we. <coughs> 
came to uh, read this sentence la budda min taraqi it's necessary uh, like so la budda min al qira'ati al fawzi wal najahi it's necessary uh, to read for the success okay so here also some examples are given to be filled up some blanks are given to be filled up so the we have to fill the blanks you using uh, the words in the bracket so we can write here first one la budda min ad-diyalati al-badaniya li-sihhati okay la budda min ad-diyalati al-badaniya li-sihhati and la budda min al-qira'ati li-nail al-ilmi okay that's the answer and la budda min al-mumarasati للمهاره practice is necessary okay for the skill and here we have a paragraph okay نقرا الفقره التاليه ونفهم مزيدا عن هذا العالم الكبير so let's read this paragraph and understand more this call about this scholar هو أبو الفقير زين العابدين عبد الكلام. He is أبو الفقير زين العابد عبد الكلام. كان من أسرة فقيرة. He was from a poor family. أسرة فقيرة. Poor family. عاش وتكلم كابد المشكات. That means he lived and learned. With hardships. وأصبح عالما كبيرا وتخصص في علم الفلك والتقنيات الصاروخ واشتهر أبو الكلام مفكرا وكاتبا وأكاديميا ومؤلفا ومحاضرا. He became a great scholar and expert. وأصبح عالما كبيرا وتخصص في علم الفلك and uh, his Specialized in astronomy. وتقنيات الصاروخ The techniques of rocket. واشتهر أبو الكلام مفكرا وكاتبا وأكاديميا And عبد الكلام was famous as a thinker, writer, uh, academic, uh, author and letterer. And uh, وَلُقِّبَ بِرَجُلِ الصَّارُخِ And he is known as a missile man of India. Okay. Then, uh, كان أبو الكلام رئيس الهندي سابقا. Uh, أبو الكلام was the former president of India. رئيس الهند. President of India. سابق. Former. وَلَهُ مُؤَلَّفَاتٌ عديدة. Uh, he uh, uh, he wrote many books, including his autobiography. سيرته ذاتية autobiography. أجنحة من النار. That means uh, wings of fire. Okay. وقام وطننا الهند بتكريم هذا العبقري بجائزات مختلفة. Uh, India honored this genius with various awards. مختلفة. جائزات مختلفة. مثل بارد رتنا وبدما إبوشن. Like باردنا وبدما إبوشن. وبدما شري وغيرها. بدما شري. Everything has been awarded for him. Now we have to learn الجملة الفعلية. So Let's understand what is Jumla al fi'liya. Jumla al fi'liya means verbal sentence. Its definition is Kullu jumlatin tatarakabu min fi'lin wa fa'lin to sama jumlatin fi'liya. So a sentence consisting of a verb and a doer is called a verbal sentence. 
so there are two types of verbs verbs are divided into transitive and intransitive verbs in transitive verbs the doer will be accompanied by an object also so understand jumla fi'liya means a sentence consisting of a verb and a doer yeah the examples are given here nama tiflu it's a verbal sentence because nama there is verb nama tiflu doer subject also given here the child slept tar al ghurabu the crow flew lahika rajlu the man laughed okay so if we analyze these sentences we can see all of them have started with verbs okay what is the other words came along with the verbs it's a subject so these sentences are started with verbs and are followed by a verb sorry a subject so we can say that all sentences starting with a verb or consisting of a verb uh, and a subject is called verbal sentence and in the examples given there were verbs and doers only but uh, as we said uh, pointed out in the beginning there can be objects also so these are the examples for object uh, verbal sentence including object katabal waladu adarsa here kataba is verb waladu subject darsa object tatbakhul ummu at'ama yaqra'u al-abu al-jarida in these examples darsa ta'ama jarida all objects so uh, this is about jumla fi'liya and uh, the grammar part of this textbook uh, is with me so if you want just contact uh, in my number 9958848861 so uh, you will i will send those grammar parts via whatsapp so if you want to get the pdf of grammar portions or the pdf of this textbook just connect me in this number 9958848861